Man, when you find level 5 can probably more left fielders, with them making return to the West, then they show off the games they announced at the Nintendo Direct, and followed by their vision they had early this year, and then they have this vision, where they pull out the teaser at the end of the show, um, confirms one of my favorite franchises is not dead. What's up my fellow Dragodons, Dreadclaw here, and today we're going to be talking about game... Yeah, we're talking about level 5 here, showing off a teaser that was mind blowing, at least for some of us. This is a big deal for the Yokai Watch community, just because, one, this confirms the franchise is not dead. That is the Yokai Watch series. Uh, for people who don't know what Yokai Watch is, think of it as like Shin Megami Tensei, but for kids. That's what it is, basically. But anyways, with the Level 5 Vision, it is, their, it is Level 5's version of the Nintendo Directs, their own little digital event where they do game announcements, they do news, updates on their current titles and projects. And I unfortunately didn't get to go, I didn't get to see this one because it was early during the day and I was asleep when this was going on. By the time I woke up, it seemed like the event was ending, so... I just looked on their YouTube channel in case they had something, anything Yokai Watch related, which of course I definitely saw that they had some cool stuff. I'm definitely looking forward to their new IP. I'm looking forward to Fantasy Life, but I was hoping for some Yokai Watch stuff. Just because they didn't show anything related to Yokai Watch in the last one we got earlier this year. Even though day before, they put out this drawing of the Cat Yokai you're seeing currently in the teaser trailer. Which I thought at first maybe we'll get some news, but then nothing. And then I thought uh, if they didn't show anything Yokai Watch related in the upcoming vision, it would more or less mean that they're taking a little break from the Yokai Watch series. Granted, just because I would imagine after the sales of Yokai Watch 4 and Jam Academy Y, they probably want to rethink and reinvent the wheel for the series with those sales numbers. But then I when I especially saw that on the YouTube uh, the YouTube channel they had nothing but Puni Puni stuff, I thought, okay yeah, they are taking a little break to focus on their other IPs like Professor Layton, it's a Zoom 11. Yeah, Fantasy Life and their new IP, which I'm definitely looking forward to again. Um, but then, once I looked on Twitter, uh, some people in the Yokai Watch community I follow, I saw the picture of the same cat, and I saw the video that was going around, and I couldn't believe it. The fact that we actually get a brand new Yokai Watch game after. Four years? Uh, three, of course, if you want to count Jam Academy Y. Uh, this is a big deal, just because they're cool and calming down the fans after we've been fearing that maybe the series is dead. And then Wolf Light just comes in and be like, Yo, Yokai Watch fans, calm down, we're aware, we've heard you. Here's the teaser, the series is still going, we have plans, just give us some time. And, you know, uh, we, now I'm looking forward to the next vision, because we're going to get a full trailer. And I can't really say much about it, besides I like the look of the yokai. It looks really cool with the flames. And then, of course, another cat that... This one doesn't look like Jibanyan, which is pretty nice, considering a lot of the cat yokai always look like Jibanyan. This looks a lot different, so... I'm just wondering, is this gonna be so what? A new character? Is this gonna be like spin-off? Kind of like how Jam Academy Y is? Is this Yokai Watch 5? Or is this gonna be a reboot of the series? Which makes us question to that extent. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, now we know what to expect for early next year from the next uh, level 5 vision. A full-on trailer showing us gameplay. I'm hoping, you know, whatever, whatever it is, even if it's, you know, reboot. If it's a spin-off, I'll take it. Just because 
It's a Yokai Watch game. I always enjoy Yokai Watch, except for Jam Academy Y. I was the hugest fan of that one. But, you know, still for it is, I can see at least to an extent why people, if they do like it. <laughs> you know? I still always prefer Classic Yokai Watch and Shadow Slide. Those are still my favorites when it comes to the Yokai Watch series. But generally, I am very excited, especially with the possibility of Spiral 4 being next year as well, which I'm hoping we'll get that. The Game Awards, damn it! But still, this is a great time to be a not just a Yokai Watch fan, but also a Level 5 fan in general, just because all the games they already have announced. And now we got a teaser for a brand new AAA Yokai Watch game. I can't wait. But yeah, guys, if you're familiar with the Yokai Watch series, are you, what's your favorite game in the series? Are you looking forward to this? And what do you think? Could it be a spin off, reboot, or a new entry? Could it be Yokai Watch 5? But I will let you guys talk in the comments. And don't forget to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for more Yokai Watch related content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.